Hi everyone, I'm Simon and welcome to Cold Water Tanks. A new update from the Krabitat this time. Uh, summer is now over and uh, the temperature in the tank never exceeded 18 degrees Celsius. Uh, 64 degrees Fahrenheit uh, down in my basement. Uh, though it was a relatively cold summer on the whole this year, uh, I'm confident that the temperature won't go too high in the tanks down here, even, even if the outside temp is quite high. Uh, chillers are both big and expensive, so, uh, so the fact that I can keep these tanks running down here without them is great to know. Uh, losing critters in the tank is uh, is never fun, so uh, waking up to this site was a real bummer. It took me a while until I saw something lurking between the rocks though. It just changed its shell. I never learn as I always think there's been a death when I see this. The Aesop shrimp are a great cleanup crew, as they'll pick everything clean given enough time. The molting process is a dangerous thing for these creatures though. I've had several creatures uh, lose claws or feet, or even die after molting. Uh, I don't know if this happens more often in tanks than it does in nature. I don't know, but, uh, but for sure it's a risky process in either case. Uh, luckily all limbs were intact for this beauty. Uh, they usually get a bit more careful after molting, as their shells are still soft and, and therefore they're not as protected as they usually are. In the Krabitat there's nothing that can kill this one, so it should be safe from other creatures at least. The blue mussels are still a favorite among the creatures of the Krabitat. I actually think all of them enjoys eating this.
I'm also putting in some snails regularly, as the starfish loves to snack on them. A few days later and the leftovers from the molting is falling apart. The anemone hermit is one of my absolute favorites among the creatures in the ocean here. Uh, everything about it is just fascinating. And it's also got such great personality.
starting to have a bit of red algae growth on the glass of the tank now. Uh, I added this seaweed to the tank as I thought it looked great. Ten days later though, it looked like this, and, and it was making the water turn yellowish. And so I had to take it out. I really hope it won't cause any issues with the tank. But this kind of seaweed is usually quite high up on rocks, that's on dry land during low tide. So I'm guessing they don't do well being underwater all the time. It's a bit of a shame, as they do look good. If I ever try a tidal tank where the water level will rise and sink, I'll definitely try adding these again. I really don't know if the orange sponge here is still alive, as it's still just bouncing around in there. But it doesn't seem to be deteriorating very fast, so... So I'm still living it in there. Anyways, that's all for this video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button. And if you want to see more from the Gravitat, please subscribe and hit the notification bell to make sure you'll see any future updates. And if you want more cold water content, you can also find me on Instagram, Reddit and Twitter. Uh, links for those you can find in the video description. And if you have any kind of feedback, I'd really appreciate it if you'd leave a comment. I always enjoy hearing from you. So until next time, thanks for watching!